VLMP2 and VLMP Pro are the latest heat set insert presses from Vector3D. They're great tools for consistent and precise performance in adding inserts to 3D printed parts, resulting in a more durable thread and more professional finish. In this video, I want to show you how you can customize the grip to allow you to use pretty much any soldering iron you want on VLMP2. So let's take You probably already know that PCBWay offer high quality PCBs, but did you know they also have a 3D printing and CNC manufacturing service? Start by uploading your file to get an instant quote and design for manufacturer feedback. You can choose from a wide range of processes and materials to get just what you need at the quality that you expect. Make your payment and manufacture lead time is just two days away, keeping you up to pace with many industries such as automotive, medical, dental, aerospace or consumer electronics. Track your orders online and receive your delivery on time and on budget. Get started today with the link in the video description. Thanks to PCBWay for sponsoring this segment of the video. Also sponsored by Autodesk Fusion since they provide a license for me to use for my creator projects. When I'm talking about the grip, I'm referring specifically to this part here. It screws to the arm and holds the handle of the soldering iron securely. Whilst VLMP2 is designed to be used with the Handskit 927 that we sell along with grips, it can actually be used with pretty much any soldering iron that you want. You just need the right grip size. So I want to show you how you can do that. Before spending time customizing your own grip though, it's worth checking existing grip sizes from other users because when we find a great grip size, we share it via a form and that creates a small database of grip sizes that work well. So it's worth checking that before you customize your own. So the first thing to do is get your soldering iron and measure it. To do this, it's best first to remove any foam or rubber grips that are on the handle as we don't need the comfort they provide and they'll just make the soldering iron kind of wobbly in the grip and they tend to come loose. Often you can just slip these off and slide them down the cable so you don't have to worry about cutting it and making any permanent changes. Next, using some calipers, which you can check out good ones via this link, you need to measure two places on the iron handle about 35 millimeters apart. The first will be near the base of the handle and this is what we're gonna call D1 and the second will be about 30 millimeters back, and this is what we call D2. The names are useful as we'll use them to customize the grip. And this position that we're measuring will be about where the grip sits on the handle. Next, we need to customize the file in Autodesk Fusion, but you can get a free license for this, which isn't some hooky pirated copy. It's a proper Autodesk hobby license. Get that installed and you'll be ready to go. Once you have that installed, open the included Fusion Archive file. Click on the FX Parameters button to open the model parameters. There are variables here which I've programmed into the design to be able to modify it. In the expression field of the iron diameter one, enter the variable you call D1 in millimeters. In the expression field of iron diameter two, enter your D2 measurement again in millimeters. Click OK and your grip will update to the new sizes. Now on the left side of the window on the feature tree, right click the top element and select save as mesh. Use the default export settings, click OK, and then save to a sensible location. This creates the STL that you need to print. If you have trouble with these fusion steps, you can ask in the Vector3D Discord linked below. Now you have the STL, drop that in your slicer to print. This really needs to be printed in ABS because the soldering iron handles can get quite warm and the last thing you want is the grip to drop your iron. If you don't have an enclosed printer, you should still be able to print a small ABS part like this, as long as you have a good first layer, wide brim, and potentially a draft shield. Use three perimeters and 15% infill for your settings. It's tempting to think that stronger is better here, but because we want the grip to flex in order to hold the soldering iron, we need the right settings to achieve that. And I found that three perimeters and 50% works pretty well for this design. With the grip printed, let it cool and then test it on the soldering iron. It should be a fairly tight fit, but not cause any of the buttons to be pressed or stop functioning, obviously. But also it shouldn't be so loose that the iron falls out when held vertically, as this is the orientation it will be held. If it doesn't fit quite right, re-measure your soldering iron and change your dimensions a little and try again. Once you have a good fit, head to the grip share form and share your dimensions and soldering iron so that everyone else can use those sizes too. Hopefully that's been useful for anyone getting VLMP, but looking to try it with a different soldering iron. Thanks again to PCBWay for sponsoring the video.